Hey Pisces, Yana here, and in this video, I'm doing a love reading for the sign of Pisces. This is not for any particular date or anything like that. I just felt like the Pisces needed a extra reading today. I don't know, just got that. Um, I don't know. It was like a feeling that just came over me, and I was like, let me do a reading for them, okay? Whew. Let me catch my breath because I ran here. All right. So um, I have to point out the obvious. This reading may or may not resonate with you because not every single Pisces is going through the same exact thing. If it resonates with you, please hit that like and subscribe button. If it does not, then you're going to want to book a private reading. Okay. So let's get into it. All right. So what is the overall energy for Pisces in their love life. What is their overall energy? Please, spirit guides, please give me a clear message. And I always gotta let you guys know that I don't just go by what I see, like with the cards. I really trust what I'm feeling intuitively. And I swear to God, when I do that, my readings are way better. I, I don't know why that is. It's like if I just go by what the cards are saying alone, my readings won't be accurate as fuck. But when I trust what I'm feeling intuitively and them spirit guides are just coming through me, oh man, my readings could just be like 100% accurate. It's scary. Okay, so what's the overall energy for Pisces? Wow, you guys' reading is kind of similar to Aquarius reading. It's kind of strange. Okay. So, yeah, very similar to Aquarius reading. Okay, so you guys' overall energy is the High Priestess Reverse and <clears throat> the Hermit Reverse. <sighs> okay. So, you guys are also in a very deep depression. You guys are really isolating yourself from the person that you are dealing with romantically. Um, you've been trying to soul search. You've been trying to gain a new perspective. You just really feel really alone, though. It, it, see, there's nothing wrong with, like, you know, taking some time out to be by yourself. But it's like you guys are, like, overdoing it. And it's because you feel rejected by this person. You know, you don't feel wanted by them. And then with the high priestess reverse, what it's telling me is, like, you feel like you guys weren't using your intuition with the person because you you wanted this person so bad that you were kind of like ignoring the signs that you felt one way and they felt another way okay and then with the nine of swords it tells me that not only are you guys isolating yourself and trying to soul search and trying to move forward well, not, you're actually not really moving forward, but you're trying to. But when I say trying, it's like, little try. Because you're so stuck in this rut. You isolate yourself so much that it's like causing you to have insomnia. You guys are having like restless nights. You can't sleep properly. You're super anxious. You're just crying yourself to sleep properly. And the reason why you're experiencing so much anxiety is because you feel left out in the cold by this person. And what I'm seeing here, as I'm looking at the cards deeper, is there are blockages between you guys. There's a block between, um, like, blocking uh, communication. So this person blocked you. And you probably have no way of getting in contact with them. And you're afraid that this is it. Like, you're afraid that they'll never come around and that 
they'll basically just kick you out of their life. This person pretty much broke it off with you. But the love is reversed. So you guys were either, you know, in a in a regular relationship and they, they wanted to break up. Um you guys may even be married. But um yeah, this person broke up with you. If they didn't break up with you, they ghosted you. And you're just anxious because you don't want to be left out in the cold by them. You're afraid that they're not going to contact you. That's what you're afraid of. So I'm going to ask the question that you guys want to know. Is this person going to contact the Pisces? Are they going to contact the Pisces? what you guys want to know okay should I keep pulling I don't want to jinx you guys all right so I'm kind of seeing what's going on here so the person is going to contact you yeah they're gonna contact you Especially with this nine of wands here, there's hope. And then with justice being here, the scales are going to bounce out. It's going to be more fairness. But what I'm seeing here is like this person was bored with the relationship. They were dissatisfied with the way things were going. But um, with this being reversed, it's like they'll, they'll come out of feeling like that. It's almost like, you know... um. When someone ghosts you or cuts you off, the best thing to do is to leave them the fuck alone. I respect that they don't want to talk to you. And I, and give them time, and they'll usually contact you again. The only scary thing, though, is that they are going to contact you again, but they're not going to offer you anything really, really serious. See, like, this person's energy is like, especially with this Nine of Pentacles right here, this is a person that they're immature when it comes to love. They don't want to offer you anything really serious. Like what they want to offer you is probably more than likely just sex or just an initial attraction like flirting, you know, not marriage, not higher commitment, not the white picket fence, the all American dream. They don't want to offer you that. Because this person, you know, because page, pages are immature. And a page of wands, it's like, when you trying to look for something solid, you don't want this shit. This is, that's baby shit. And then with the nine of pentacles and upright, this person actually is more worried about their money. That's what they care about. They're driven by their money. They feel super comfortable with being single. They love it. Okay, because the Nine of Pentacles is a person that they're like, yo, my money's good. I'm good. I don't need nobody. You know what I mean? I'm solid. Like, I don't have to be in a relationship, and I'm fine with it. So, yeah, they're going to contact you, but it's it's not going to be nothing solid. Okay? Ooh. Apologize for that. So, anyways, um, I... Uh, what was I going to say? If this reading resonated with you, please hit that like and subscribe button. If it didn't, then you already know what you got to do. You got to book a private reading to learn more about your particular situation. Okay? So I'm going to end this video here. I don't thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye.